Well, there is one task I can do now, which is uh, install my new piston ring, put my piston together, and uh, actually insert it back into the head. So I'm going to start with putting a little light coat of oil on this ring groove. And this is my new ring. It's a Frank Bowman's ring. So, got my ring installed. Make sure it rotates around here freely. Uh, the last couple of rings I had from Bowman were actually a little bit large, so before I even put the connecting rod on here, I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I can insert, insert this into the... see if it's going to go in here before... I, okay, it's going to go in. Because the other ones, I actually had to trim a little bit of the ring material. Like that nice suction sound I just heard. So that was good. So. Now, with that installed, let me lube up my pin here and a little bit of oil on this connecting rod. And I will insert this guy in here. Okay, nice smooth fit. Now, if I can find my two little Teflon pads. Actually, I think they're called pin retainers. I call them little Teflon pads because that's basically what they are. Alright, so that's lubed up. A little bit of lubrication in there. I'll reinsert this piston. orient my dot to the front. And it feels like there's nice compression right now, which there should be because the valves are seated, fully seated, so that feels pretty good. I think we're going to be in good shape there. So that unfortunately is about all that I can do here aside from reinstall this washer that came out of my exhaust. Now that that's back in place, unfortunately since I have no bearings, it really doesn't make much sense to do anything else here for the time. But it is going to be a Nice clean looking engine once it's all back together. It's definitely going to be one to be proud of, that's for sure. Anyway, that's as far as I can go tonight. Well, I've received my bearings from RC Bearing. The rear bearing is uh, an open bearing. The front bearing, the only ones they had in stock had shields on front and rear. What I'm going to do though is uh, remove one of the rear shields, or one of the shields, so that I can uh, have at least the rear part facing open. So all I've got here is a T pin. I might actually need something a little bit stronger than this though. Just lift this bearing shield out. I'm afraid you forgot to sign it. Is that necessary? If you want to get this position, this would be called the permanent part of the personnel file. Mr. Avanza, I would be delighted to answer all these queries upon the second meeting. If we be Okay, so there we go. So that's all there is to it. Remove that little shield, and now I've got an open rear. And this will be the front. This will be coming in like this. 
so that it keeps as much oil from coming out, but it actually will, any oil in there will allow these berries to get lubricated. So that's all you do is just pop that shield up. You just got to get in there with something sharp and deform it and lift it out. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring my arbor press over and I'm going to put my UV glove on, heat this case up because the first bearing I want to put in is the front bearing. And I want to put the front bearing in first because I've got all these other pieces on the crankshaft that need to go on before I put the other bearing in and it's obviously going to be a lot easier to install this stuff from the rear like this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my front bearing pressed in. I'm going to heat the case up and get that going. I'm going to start heating this up. I've got a temp gauge that I can shoot the temperature of it too. I heat the front bearing area up. Hopefully the aluminum will expand a little bit and make installing this bearing a bit easier. Temp is 162. I don't know if that's going to be warm enough to actually help it out or not, but. Let's see if that's going to be hot enough to help get this in. So I want to put this bearing in, the shield part facing forward. That thing is quite warm, so I really want to try to make sure that gets on there straight. And our bearing is in. Install the rear bearing now. So I just kind of put a little bit of oil on this crankshaft. I'm going to take that collar off. And that collar actually provides a spacing between uh, allowing this to stop. It actually provides a spacing, proper spacing for this timing gear to line up here between that and the bearing. So that's what that little collar is for. This is finally cooled down enough. So I'm going to pull these guys off here. Oil up my bearing here real good. See how easily it slides onto the crankshaft. And now we'll put our pinion and our collar on. And now I'm just going to insert this in here. And what I'm going to do now is I have a small socket. I'm going to place this, I'm going to fixture it in my arbor press, I'm just going to use that socket as my drive to push this down into place. So let me get that jigged up real quick here. So again I'm going to heat this crankcase up a little bit here. Now I'm just pretty much focusing in on the middle section where the bearing is going to go in. I mean the whole aluminum will heat up but I'm really just trying to localize it to this area here. Front bearing didn't seem to need it to be too hot to go into place, so. I'll carefully drop that in place. Put a socket in here.
And it looks like now my bearing is it's fully seated and it looks good. So now a reassembly of the engine can continue.